What's up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today I have some gameplay for you guys of, of the new map Verge off of the Eclipse DLC that launched on April 19th. Now I know I'm super late um, with all these videos but um uh haven't had the, didn't have the time to um to edit these videos and to record my my uh, commentary for it um uh over the week I, I got busy with working after um I recorded or recorded these gameplays because I have a part-time job so that I can actually play these games and everything um but and then some uh, some health issues came up so this is the first time first time I've actually been able to make these videos. I'm making them all at once because right now is the only time I have to do it. So I can get these um, videos edited and rendered for you guys and uploaded. So um, today I'm bringing you guys um, gameplay of the map Verge. This is a uh, one of the uh, this is the World at War remake. Um, Bonsai. The map was called Bonsai and World at War, and uh, this map was remade. Um, for the Eclipse DLC. Now, I unfortunately did not get to play World at War, um, and I actually have not um, uh, seen very much gameplay, but I have seen images, um, and I've read some reviews from some other YouTubers, and some of them feel like it doesn't play the same. I can't really get in on that because, or that comparison, because I never actually played World at War. Um, all I do know is this is a this is a really, really good map. Really well designed. It has great, um, it has a great three lane system like Treyarch loves to do. Um, you got the, you got the one lane, um, off to my, um, right on from this spawn is basically like a bunch of tunnels, catacombs. Easy way for you to, you if you know an enemy is down one side, you can flank around them to catch them off guard. And then it also takes you to their spawn, the middle lane, which is the the iconic bridge from Bonsai. Um, that you can that you can run through. You get head on head contact, um, but you do have to watch out because there's two different um, openings that you can be sniped from, you can be shot from, whatever. Um, and then there's the third lane that I was just on. It's uh, more of a, it's more of a, you know, a lead way to the water. Um, great opportunity. I love how they've incorporated the uh, the movement features into this map, where you can actually swim in the water. Um, you can dive underwater. Um, it just gives it a different aspect to the gameplay. Cause I actually did get to go back and uh, watch some gameplay of some uh, YouTubers. Um, in the days leading up to this uh, DLC, that they were actually they went back and played World at War, um, and played Bonsai. So um, and I've also went back and watched some YouTubers from when the game was actually out. I believe it was uh, eight to ten years ago. Um, it was way before I ever got into Call of Duty. Um, I know I'm a Call of Duty new. Black Ops Two was my first rodeo with um, Call of Duty, but I've also played Black Ops One since. Um, since I've been playing Black Ops 2, but, um, from, from my, from my feel, this kind of has a Mad Max feel to it, and I know there's a bunch of other YouTubers that have already said the same thing, um, but, as I was watching their videos, I was saying, hey, uh, before they even said it, I was like, hey, this kind of has a Mad Max feel to it, and then they would say it, and I was like, hmm, glad somebody agrees with me. Um, but yeah, this is a great map, um, great design um i'm wanting to give you guys my overall impressions of the maps and i'm going to rate each map that i do um and i give this one about i'll say a, a seven and a half um just because um of some different things easy for you to get um for somebody to wrap around you or come up from behind you because there's a little area of water where you can pop up behind people that is a good thing and a bad thing um they can, you know, uh, uh, come up and kill you from behind. And I hate being shot from behind. Um, you know, and just, um, 
but yeah, the aesthetics are great. I love what they did with the map. Um, I love the little graffiti on the walls. Um, you know, and it's it's easy for for score streaks. It's a really open map. There's only one area that's that's closed off, and that's the tunnels. But um, other than that, it's a really really open map and and things like that. But this is just overall a good map. This is actually it'll be my third favorite of all the maps because actually the way I'm going to order it is Knockout, Spire, Verge, and Rift. Those will be that's my order of how I'm how I'm rating these. But um, leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, what do you guys think of this map? Um, what would you rate it? Um, did you guys play World at War and how does it compare? You know, or you know, is it does it play the same? Does it feel the same? And just uh, let me know in the comment section. I want to hear your feedback. Um, I'm gonna be reading every comment that I get. I know I don't get very many comments, but I will read every comment that I get. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to comment. Um, like this video if you liked my my assessment of this map and. And not everybody's gonna like my assessments, and that's that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, guys, um, this has been my um, overall impression of the World at War remake Verge. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe so you can see future videos such as my Spire um, overview video, and uh, also so you can um, check out my my older videos you don't have to subscribe to do that but that would be awesome if you did um but yeah click the annotation if you're on um if you're on a desktop or a laptop um for my my uh verge or not my verge my knockout preview